Hey, how's it going? Geometry Cats. Today we are looking at Pythagorean Theorem and its converse. And now what you're probably thinking is, hey, Mr. Wilger, haven't we seen this like a billion times? I'll make this a billion and one. AKA known as A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Your longest side squared is equal to the sum of your smaller side squared. I'm not going to beat this one to death because we've been using it already. So let's just take a look at some of these. Oops. Yeah, this is something that will come up on the ACT, guys. This will save you a lot of time. A Pythagorean triple is a set of whole number uh, or non zero whole numbers A, B, and C that satisfy A squared plus C, B squared equals C squared. Here's some of the common ones. 3 for 5 is a huge one that they use all the time in the ACT. Okay? And any multiple of this works as well. Like 6, 8, 10. I don't know. If you see one, they say this side's 50, this side's 40. Right away, you can say this one's 30. Okay? 5, 12, 13 is another big one. Again, if I said this was 26. This is 24, and this would have to be 10. All of these times 2. 8, 15, 17, 7, 24, 25. These ones come up the most, second most, third most probably. But if you know these, it'll save you time on the ACT so you don't actually have to use Pythagorean theorem. You can just say, oh, I know these, Mr. Wooler showed them to me. The lengths of a right triangle have lengths of 10 and 24. What is the length of the hypotenuse? Well, mm -hmm. we have a right triangle. The legs are 10 and 24. How do we find this guy? Well, we do 10 squared plus 24 squared equals x squared. 100. Uh, plus, I'm going to grab my hand and calculator, 576, also known as 676, square root both sides, 26 equals x. B, do these represent a Pythagorean triple? Why, yes they do. Because isn't this just 2 times 12? And this is 2 times 5. And this one's 2 times 13. 5, 12, 13 family. Okay. And the hypotenuse of a triangle has a leg of 12, one leg is 6. What's the length of the other? Keep it as a radical. So we have a right triangle. Hypotenuse is 12, leg 6, looking for the lost leg. It must be a pirate. I like to think about that one. So I set my equation. My hypotenuse squared equals leg squared plus leg squared. I get 144. Plus 36 plus x squared. Subtract my 36. And I get, what do I get? What do I get? Okay, the one, five, according to my calculations. Uh, 108 equals x squared. Square root both sides. Now, this is where we have to break up this 108, guys. Because we want simplest form. Well, I'm just going to do the easier route. 2, 59, 59, breaks down into nothing. So my simplest form is square root of 108. It's my x. Okay. Okay. 
The converse of the Pythagorean says, if leg squared plus leg squared equals c squared, then it's a right triangle. So it's the same, but opposite. It's the reverse, converse, universe. Basically use it to check to see if a triangle is a right triangle. Example, is this beast a right triangle? Explain. Well, here's how you do it. You take your two shorter sides, right? My 16, I'm going to square it, I'm going to add to it. My 48 squared, set the equal to 50 squared and see if it works. Okay? Well, 16 squared is 256. 48 squared is 2,304. 50 squared is uh, 2,500. Right? Well, 256 plus 2,304 is 2,560, which is not equal. 2500 hence not a right triangle okay B does it matter which one you use for A or B well what if guys if we flip these around no because addition is is commutative. It means you can flip it back and forth, right? Last theorem, this is pretty neat. What it says is if you do a squared plus b squared, and it's not a right triangle, if your c squared is bigger, it's an obtuse triangle, which means it has an obtuse angle. Okay? But now, if your a squared plus b squared is greater than your c, so your c is smaller, then it's a cute little triangle. It means all the angles are less than 90, right? So I'll put this here. One angle is bigger than 90. All angles less than 90. Okay. Think about this one for a second. Is this a Q obtuse or right? Okay. I'm going to take my two legs. A squared plus B squared. And here's my c squared. I get 49 plus 64, 81 over here. Add these guys together, I get 103, a1. So a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared. So they aren't equal, so it's not right. If they're greater, it's a Q. So it's a Q. Now again, if my C squared was greater, it would be obtuse. Equal, right, less than a Q. The end. Enjoy.